Tana's a drag queen Loki <laughs> in that way, where she can be shady but endearing at the same time. Yeah, we need to shade Tana so she'll. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Full Coverage, your favorite podcast with your host, Manny Amiway and... Laura Lee! Hey, hey, hey! You, you might see a little This different. is our new podcast studio. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is the whole new space. Look at this spider. No. I see it. It's climbing up the light. Okay. I just saw it. We have spiders in the house. So, mm -hmm. our podcast space is officially under construction. You guys are going to gag when you see the I'm new so space. Excited. We haven't seen anything yet, really. They're mm -hmm. just tearing it apart right now and rebuilding it. So we're so excited. So we're going to be filming this episode from my house. Yep. Mi casa. Yes. Casa and Laura Lee. <laughs> casa Laura <laughs> Lee. Casita. Um, and then next, next week, week. No episode. Yeah. Next week, we're taking a little break because we're going to film one here. And we want to be able to get back into the space when mm -hmm. it's like, fully done and refreshed. So we're going to take a little break for next week. No episode. And then this week is this week's episode. Boo, but so we have a lot gonna... of hot topics. <gasps> oh, right. So let's go and get started. But first, Ooh. Ace Pits. Oh, this is so crazy filming here, by the way. I it's know. like only it's one camera, two. It's a mind. I'm like, where do fuck. I look? Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> Laura's like, I can't look at myself. In the I know. Monitor. I can't look at myself in the viewfinder the whole entire episode. It's going to be a total <laughs> trip for me. I'm going to have to focus in like, and look at you guys. I <sighs> <laughs> okay, give me peaks and pits. Um, well, what's your peak? I feel like our peak could be a combined. Combined, peak. it's a combined. It's because a... this whole weekend has been a peak. It has because we had Fourth of July, like just celebration. Yeah, which was absolutely insane. We literally came over here to Laura's, and it turned. We had a literal Fourth of July celebration. People came over. It was a pool day. It was so it fun. It was so much fun. Every single person that came either texted me or DM me after and was like, "Wait, that was like the funnest ever." You know, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> you were really like. <laughs> you know, it was like the perfect mix of like casual, but well done, if you will. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like we had the pool. We had it heated to a perfect 90 degrees. We were cooking out. We had the perfect. I mean, just like it wasn't like too, too many people because then things mm -hmm. get crazy because yeah. it is at a house. Yeah. The perfect amount of drinks. How everyone. many people was it, you think? It was 22. Like 20, I was going to say like around like 20 people. So it mm -hmm. wasn't like obscene nope. but it was not no one we planned for 14 we had 22 <laughs> and luckily everybody that came brought a big thing of, of their own beer like mm -hmm. bring your own beer we didn't even say that on the invitation because we thought but we thank had god plenty they thank god they did because we did not we had enough liquor to feed an army but n the beers were running low so luckily everybody just brought their own beer and it's really like, want like to sip Yep. Is that, is that why? I feel like 4th of July 2 is also very beery. Beer. It's very beery, especially because you're in the pool and everybody was in the pool. Mm -hmm. It was really great. I was in the pool. Mm -hmm. I was impressed. Even I went in the pool. You guys, we did the pool Honey, volleyball pool. I had Manny out in this heat. Baby, because then, because then literally, what, two days later, we're in, we're at the beach. We're at the beach. For like, celebrating we're Tyler's birthday. We went to for Tyler's birthday. Tyler's like... I was like, Ty, let's do the 4th of July as your birthday celebration because all your friends are at the house already and we'll bring out a cake. And he was like, mm-mm, mm -mm, no. no. I want another You tried day. that, though. <laughs> yeah, listen, if I would, I would try the same thing. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, we're already all yeah. here. Let's combine yeah. the two. He said, right. no. we're going to celebrate me. Yep, separately. So where do we, what was the beach called? Where did we go? We went to Manhattan Beach. We did Manhattan a beach, beach day. One of our friends has a house down there. So we met at his house and then we did like a full beach day. It was so much fun. Oh, I had like the best time. We were there like the from what? Like one o'clock to like six, yes. seven? Yes, seven o'clock is we when like we the left. whole day. Isn't that crazy? We were there for six hours just rotting on the beach. We, um, we, some of us went and played some beach volleyball on a court. I heard it got competitive. It got competitive. It got wild. It got terrifying for the other team because it was me tyler and Galen Val, jason versus val and jason and josh and josh so i like because the volleyball started to come back to me i started like <laughs> serving really hard oh wait ty told me this he said you were tearing them up with your spikes you were spiking the ball and over. i was just serving it but I, was, I was doing a top spin serve and val was like a deer in headlights. She could not get it back over. Mm -mm, because it was like, I was, but I was serving it hard. And then I was like, let me calm it down. How dare you and Ty get on the same team? That's, you know, I was seeing the same thing, sabotage. but Val played. 
Yeah. That was played volleyball. So I was like, okay, oh. well, she's played volleyball. She played in high school. And then I was also thinking, Jason, he can keep the ball up too. Like, I was like, oh, they, mm-hmm. they'll be just they'll fine. They'll be good. Mm-hmm. And so, they, in fact, were not. And they were, in fact, not good. I got seven points in a row. Oh, my God. <laughs> I served it seven times in a row. I was and I running my mouth somewhere. I was not in this Oh, baby, game. you were literally like, No, it was really fun because we were just literal idiots the entire day. I loved it. It was such a good beach day. The weather was beautiful. So it was like back to back, baby, back to back. Oh, my vitamin D levels right now? Through the roof. I might be They're, deficient, but not this weekend. Not this weekend, honey. Uh, 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 that strained you out for a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. You had an OD of vitamin I've actually, D. You know what? I've had too much damn vitamin D. You know what? That's you me can't have every enough. day. I, feel like you can't have I enough. can't have enough. I feel like you can't have enough. Honestly, mm-hmm. vitamin D is one of the most, just like a side note, one of the most important things like for your functionality. Like If you are low on vitamin D, you need to get your levels right and like take vitamin D supplements because it will affect every aspect of your life. And that's why he has a PhD. Thank you to Etsy for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Hey, full fam listeners, you know what? The robots have gotten pretty good at what they do, but what they can't do is pour passion into what they make or Mm -hmm. give an item a human touch. You guys can buy on Etsy for anything. I mean, they have handmade, handpicked, designed pieces from independent sellers who pull from their unique experiences to bring their whole hearts into their small shops. Keep commerce human. Discover small businesses on Etsy. Thank you to OneSkin for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Do you know why I love OneSkin so much? Why? Because all their products are created by skin longevity scientists and backed labs and clinical studies, so you know they work. OneSkin is more than just skin care. It's about skin longevity, targeting the root causes of aging to help you look and feel your very best at every age. Get started today with 15% off by using code FULL at OneSkin.co. That's 15% off at OneSkin.co with code FULL. After you purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please support our show and tell them we sent you it's time to expect more from your skincare routine invest in the health of your skin with one skin thank you so much to zocdoc for sponsoring this portion of full coverage you guys zocdoc makes it easy to fill in those blanks to help you find the right doctor for your specific needs because zocdoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in network doctors choose the right one for your needs and click to instantly book an appointment so stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash full and to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash full. ZocDoc.com slash full. Okay, so this is all fine and dandy, but like, what were the pits? Oh, you go first. Okay, I'll go first. So <laughs> our pool towel around our pool is really slippery. <laughs> And anytime we have people over, we are like, careful, Uh careful, don't step on that tile. Like, we're constantly like, step over the tile, step Mm -hmm. over the tile. Which, when they built this house, we're like, what idiot put the world's slipperiest tile when it gets wet around a pool? Uh They also did our back and front porch with it, and we redid our back and front porch and got the tile out of here because I slipped so many times when it would rain. Mm -hmm. So, the reason I didn't redo it around the pool is because I was like, you guys need to get it off the pool too. Is like, they're like, you got to drain your whole pool and then that tile is attached to like these little block tiles which are like different colors you know what i mean the mosaic vibes the mosaic vibes Mm -hmm. right okay so they were like we have to rip all that out because they will break when we remove this tile where our whole hot tub is also done in that mosaic tile the whole hot tub so he's like you have to rip out your hot tub too i was like jesus you're like "Uh uh-uh i ain't doing it it went from like a you know small job to like a hundred thousand dollar job and i was like all right we'll get this done another Another year but not right, right now this is not the year so luckily no one fell no one got hurt no one slipped but me it was me the owner of the home guys the owner of the home so around our hot tub when we have it turned off the ledge is dry so everybody was putting their phones up there mm-hmm. i put my phone up there and i was like let me go run and grab it so everybody was like inside eating chilling i was like i'm gonna go get my phone real quick went to go grab it z was outside mm-hmm. one of our friends z He was standing by the pool, and when my foot stepped on it, I went down so hard, my whole body landed on my shin bone on the corner of the tile. And y'all, my whole leg is black and blue. It's literally black and blue. The whole leg is black and blue, and the top of my foot hit the concrete. It literally, my leg went behind it slipped. me. It like went like this. Yeah, just like that. And you, you it slips like this so, so that you t- go the, forward my naturally. My foot went like that on the mm. concrete, so it scraped all the skin off the top of my foot. Can't wear a shoe. 
my leg is busted so bad that like I could barely walk the next day. <laughs> no, literally, you guys, I was with Laura literally <sighs> two days later and she was limping. Yep, uh, a mess. It was bad. Like the yeah. fall was fucked. I did it again. And, I was da- and the thing is, I was like, damn, like the other, the ankle got destroyed. Now you have fall. Like the whole shin <laughs> is a wreck. Wreck. It was actually really The bad. shin is a wreck. The shin's a wreck. I was really kind of surprised. I went to go get a pedicure yesterday and the lady was like, last time you were here, your ankle was busted. Now this time your foot and leg. What is going on? I She's said, like, you good? girl, I done fail. <laughs> Again. She, she said, that's what they all say. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. No, I really fell. No, no. <laughs> no I, I ate it on fell. these tiles. I ate it. He was like, are you okay? I'm like, I was totally fine. I walk inside. There was blood everywhere. Oh, gushing blood. <laughs> everywhere. I was like, well. I'm not okay. I'm not okay, turns out. I'm actually out. not okay. So that's my pit. Does it ever happen to you like where... You can hurt yourself and you're like, oh, I'm fine. But then you, the second you see that there's blood, I'm like, oh. <gasps> yeah. And it like starts hurting all over. And it's I'm like, wait, reaction. why? It's a mind fuck. It's a mind fuck. Yeah. Just so, like when little kids fall, you're not supposed to go, oh, are you okay? Because then they'll, then they'll activate. Out. You're supposed to be like, you're okay. You're fine. You're good. You're and good. And you're like, are you good? And, but like, what, see, the thing is, my problem is that when little kids fall, I'm over here like. <laughs> <laughs> May's laughing at y'all's children. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's because the thing is, if they don't cry, I don't feel bad. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, it's just like a funny situation. Felt. If they cry, I'm like, fuck. Yeah. But if they fall and they don't cry, I'm like, If that's they cry, funny. it's funnier. <laughs> no, Damn. that's too far. <laughs> no, that's that's too, far. Not, too far. I was like. I took it too far. <laughs> I was like, I'd be like. Too far. Oh, you. 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 I was you. like, yep, yep, yep. My pit is that when we went to the on the beach day, I was like very SPF'd down like you to the gods. I didn't get all. burned. My lips got burned. Oh. And that really, the lip burn it's something fierce. I burnt mine in Florida. I was telling him. It's like, it ain't even right. Because it is, it is I, right. the thing is too, like I had like a, a balm that I would just like run over my lips like this. I just went, mm, and I did it. But because I only did it in the center, I didn't think about it. I didn't apply it like all over like this whole section. The sides of my lips like this, this section here got burnt to a fucking crisp. I literally, the next day woke up and I had, it, it's as if I had like gotten electrocuted with like <sighs> lines across my lips. I'm not kidding. I was literally like, what the fuck? So I started putting cortisone and like Aquaphor. Tell me why even with Aquaphor, they felt dry as a Sahara yep. Desert. It's almost I mean, like a layer ever. of skin has to come off. It does. No, or something it's, it's, like It's that. almost like it wants to peel. Yeah. It's hard skin. I can feel it now and it's literally like, hardened oh, skin it's like scabbed my god so i got my lips sunburned so like we both got <laughs> fucked up over Baby, the weekend we did and i i don't get my, my lips don't get sunburned i'm sorry like i'm very spf like crazy you are and but six hours of the beach the will six get hours, you it got me it will get it you it really got me together but i feel like the fact that i didn't burn all like maybe some of the burns that we saw oh my god y'all Baby. everyone leaving the beach y'all i don't know what was going on but like the proper sunscreen was not used and when you're out there and just like blazing sun we had an umbrella but for six hours you know some of the people <laughs> were walking off the beach and we were like are you well oh, crisp i've never like i feel like i've never I seen was like, y'all need to go red. to the er right now yeah faces and tops of feet bruh aaron's boyfriend's feet Ooh! were tore up the hobbit oh i gave him everything i had and every time he put Mm-mm. something on it he would go into screaming pain again like, you know, ah, everything burns the yes. burn until it like settles down into it i'd be like sorry dude that shit was His so feet fucking were crazy so red um also peak aaron was with us she got to visit i'm yeah. so happy so she nice got to visit her. finally yeah it was so nice to she was see here, like, her the whole weekend uh-huh she was here for like wednesday through sunday i loved it yeah, it was great i got to see her twice week. She's coming back to visit me too more this summer, so yeah, I'm really excited. Better. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. It was I great. love spending time. It was so great. She was so and I feel like every time she just gets more mature. I know. She just gets like it just it's every time it's like feels like better. Also, like you miss her more, so it's like you feel like you get the good times. Yeah. Also, because she doesn't live under the roof, you probably don't have, even have to deal with Mm-mm. some of like the negative or kind of just like the annoyances or even like arguments. Not at all. Like, you don't have that. You Not get the all. literal fun mm-hmm. parts. The best parts. The best parts. You get the parts the where like, we parts. catch up, you know? It's like my mom would always tell me, she's like, this is my favorite time of you guys. Like, as <laughs> as, as your adult life is my favorite. Because you guys you are, like, my friends. You just enough. Mm-hmm. And, like, we Aww. get to kiki and hang out. But, like, it's not like I have to worry as much. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, that's exactly. nice. It is. It's it's truly the mm-hmm. best. So mm-hmm. I was so excited about that. I love that. I love it. All right. Let's jump into what topics. So what topics. Just checking the time. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. First... Should we do... Oh, we had Jacqueline on the podcast. Oh, my God. Our last episode, Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill, Tori. you guys. Tori. Jacqueline Hill, Tori. I'm going to say Jacqueline Hill, Tori. She doesn't take offense to Hill. She doesn't. We she clarified doesn't. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, how could you? My God. Jacqueline Hill's so, I mean, it's iconic. so iconic. It's such an iconic mm-hmm. name. But... 
let me tell you, we've had this episode planned and like for such a long time coming. And like I, at one point Forever. in TikTok lives, I had to be like, I was getting so bombarded about having her on the <laughs> yeah. podcast. I had to be like, we're in the talks. <laughs> I just don't want to spoil it. You yeah, know what course. I mean? Like for everyone to be like, mm. she's coming on this day. Like I just wanted it to be like. Natural organic. Yeah. Mm. And I didn't want to tell. So it was like so hard because so many people wanted her on this podcast so bad. They wanted that episode so bad. Mm -hmm. My DMs were blown up. I'm sure yours Mine were too. too. Every time I would go on live, it would just be like, boom, boom, so boom, 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 boom. They were like, when? I'm yep. like, I'm not telling. Yeah, yeah. Full coverage with Manny MUA and Laura Lee is sponsored by BetterHelp. Comparison is really the thief of joy. It's mm -hmm. easy to envy other people's lives. It may look like they have it all together on their Instagram, but in reality, they probably don't. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have so you can start living your best life. Absolutely. I'm a huge advocate for therapy. I've been at therapy multiple times in my life. I think it's absolutely amazing, especially if you just like need someone to kind of banter with a, a literal professional to help you not just give you the opinion you want to hear but the opinion you need to hear and i think it's absolutely amazing and truly i'm a big big supporter of therapy so if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge Stop comparing and start focusing with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash full coverage today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash full coverage. Thank you to Etsy for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Hey, full fam listeners, you know what? The robots have gotten pretty good at what they do, but what they can't do is pour passion into what they make or mm -hmm. give an item a human touch. You guys can buy on Etsy for anything. I mean, they have handmade, handpicked, design pieces from independent sellers who pull from their unique experiences to bring their whole hearts into their small shops. I am the biggest Etsy fanatic. I love are. buying things on Etsy because I love customizable things. That's like one of my favorite things to do. I love to be able to make things that are custom. I literally just got to tie those golf balls. I got them from Etsy. You know this ring I'm wearing with the L on it? And yes. Everybody asks me all the time, where's your L pinky ring from? Etsy. They You're make lying. them. They make them with your initials. Dude, I, I love a customizable thing. So Etsy it makes it so much easier. And I love that they have like basically like a gift section that you can go and find gifts for like a specific person. Like I was like, baby, I want a cool gift for a golfer. Hello. And I, I found them. I mean, literally anything you can imagine, you can get it on Etsy. Keep commerce human. Discover small businesses on Etsy. It's been in the works for a really, really long time, but we... Upload the episode. People love it. They're really, really excited. But we have a lot of comments that are like, y'all falling out. The world is healed. The world is healed. What Bro, are they talking about? I was literally so confused because we have a lot of comments that are like, oh my God, my heart's healed because you guys came back together. I was like, when did we separate? We separate. When did like we have a falling out with Jacqueline? Never in Never. my 11 year career have we've either of us mm. ever had a beef, a drama or a falling out with Miss Jacqueline. Tory. No, literally. Ever. And so I was like, wait, I we were very confused where it was coming from. So we wanted to ask and be like, what did y'all mean, mean by that? <laughs> if you so... meant the world is healed, do you just mean like three OGs came together or do you mean like we're friends again? Because we were never, we're never not. not friends. She just didn't live here. She doesn't live in LA, so it's very hard to hang out yeah, yeah, yeah. with someone who can't. lives across like, yeah, the country. Florida. Yeah. So it's like I'm curious as to what people think of like the know. world is healing again. Oh my God, it's so nice to see you guys back together. Like I thought something happened. I'm like, what? Where where did we miss that we got an argument? I There's feel like we missed it. I feel There's like we missed disconnect. it. There's a disconnect. There's because a disconnect. We, need to we wouldn't it. have that many comments if people really didn't think that. I never expected it either. I'm shocked. I was shocked. I was surprised when we were reading. I was kind of like, I remember we were talking. I was like, why the fuck do people think that we got in a fight with Jacqueline? I don't know. Like, honey. what the hell? A lot have been on the list, you know but what? not her. No, maybe she's not on the list. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe like, because we Jacqueline for a while kept to ourselves. But that doesn't mean we have beef with everybody. No, I know, but I wonder That's if the That's the problem perception. with showing friendships online, and this is a lesson. If you show a friendship a couple of times online, they expect it to keep going or else yeah. an assumption's made that, like, there's a falling oh, out mm -hmm. and that you're not friends anymore, which is, like, so not true. I know. It's, like, it's really, it's tough. Like, that's, like, one of those things tough. where it's, like, because you're also really, obviously, you're proud of your friendships and you want to show them off, but then you're also, like, if I, I show it too much, word. are people going to, like, go crazy if I don't, don't show them off stop. when you yeah. stop but there's never been a beef we've never mm -hmm. I've never even had an argument with Jacqueline mm -hmm. I mean nothing I've given her some tough love <laughs> 
<laughs> but that means you I, guys I'm have not, always we've been never friends. had a falling out we've yeah. always been friends so it's like that it made no sense to me especially in the public aspect where i was like oh my god mm-hmm. publicly people were like the world's healed yeah. Oh, my baby, when was, was, like, it when was it destroyed? was destroyed? It was destroyed in many ways, but not in but that not way. With Jacqueline. Not with Jacqueline. Yeah, that was, I was kind of like, huh. So we wanted was, to mention, to what did you guys mean by the world is healed? I'm curious. I I, I feel like part Are of me we does. Are in the same world? <laughs> yeah, what world? I feel like part of me feels like they just love seeing OGs, OGs together. together. I thought part that too. That. I was like, they must be talking about. Like the three OGs. Because look at us when we did the ketchup mustard challenge. Yes. You know, like that was like a funny moment that we all had together. And like that mm-hmm. was so, so, so long ago. And maybe it's like, oh my gosh, it's nice to see them back together again. Yeah. Maybe I'm they gonna, meant that. I'm going to hope that that's what they mean. I hope that that's what y'all meant. Because y'all have a crack in your history timeline. Yeah, I think there's a crack. If you think we had a beef. We had no beef. Um, And we would say here if we had a beef. Listen. We, maybe that's what the podcast is for. Like but you actually get it aired here, out. There was just no beef. Mm-hmm, there was just no beef. Um, which is lovely. I'm curious to know like what you guys thought though. If you guys mm-hmm. thought, if you guys commented that, let, re, uh, tell us what that meant. Yes. In the comments. I'm curious. Also, you guys love the two hour episode. And Do you know what? Live. That is what it's like when me, Jacqueline, and Manny get in a room and we talked for another two hours after, after we filmed the podcast. It just, we never, not every single one of us is a yapper and that's the problem. None of us know when to you shut guys. up. So you get us in a room together, Jesus. We literally stayed two hours after talking. If we imagine recording that, it would have been a four hour episode. And they would have been like, give us They'd more. They'd be like, give us more. And they'd give be like, six. and? Give like, us uh-huh, all. More. Give us all, honey. No, honestly, because we are all yappers. We the are house all down. yappers, honey. Yapping so we don't yappers. Stop. Also, thank you for all of you who complimented us on our interviewing style. Because we yap so much, we both had to learn, like, through podcasting, mm. like, when to shut the fuck up. 100%. It's, it's, it's really, it's quite a... A balancing line it is uh, at least like i know like first for me i can't speak for you but for me i'm like when i want to understand someone i tend to or repeat what they're saying listen. or actively listening but also like just shutting the fuck up so they can have their whole point being said so it's a very it's like it's a fine line and like when, you find it and when you're in it and you're filming you're actually filming the episode sometimes it feels like you're not being an active listener or like contributing to their conversation Mm -hmm. when you let them talk for like three or four minutes straight and you literally say nothing and you're just like this it feels very like in real life it doesn't feel right it feels feels like like you're being a bitch yeah it kind of does it does you don't care what they have to say Mm -hmm. but whenever you watch it back it doesn't look that way it makes more sense it makes more sense but it takes so much time and training and learning and trial and error like being a podcaster and like learning interviews like the biggest thing in the interview is just to not speak yeah and truly (laughs) just like let it roll and so we learned that and like we've done such a good job i I feel like we've gotten a lot better we've gotten a lot better 100 percent. like i feel like there's moments for sure where I'm like, damn, I need to shut the fuck up. Me too. Up, you fucking idiot. I saw one time I interrupted you so bad and it makes me cry. No, Laura! I saw that I interrupted you and I was like, fuck! <laughs> but Manual. you know I never care. But I mean, the thing is, I don't care either because it's real life. Like, that's just how we talk. We're going to literally just be like, <laughs> the whole time. But when you're watching in the podcast, you're like, Ugh. it's so intrusive. I'm, I'm like, like, I can't clip this. I'm so sorry, Laura Lee. <laughs> you were trying to like make a point and I like blurted out the point and I was like, Laura, <laughs> stop. Like, oh my God. God, like, why did you do that? Luckily, no one complained. There Laura, okay. I never noticed you do that. I, I thought it was God. just me. Oh I thought it was just me. I'm like, fuck, stop being an active listener, you little bitch. Just listen. It made me cringe really hard at myself. But hey, no one complained. No, no one complained. complained. Actually, it was the opposite. They were like, you guys did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like because also we prepared more for the episode than we normally do because it's a, a guest. So I feel like with guests, we prepare more. We do. We're a little bit more active. Because, okay, we have like an outline of what we want to hit. Necess- not necessarily when it comes to like this is what we have to do but it's more like a, a cadence to follow yeah so usually we have that for guests and just so you guys are in on it like our guests know what they're gonna get asked a hundred percent so i know it's like <laughs> fun and games like we hit them with the hard questions but they're aware they know <laughs> yeah. there's no like blindsiding like are you on ozempic oh. like oh shit no. like no they're ready exactly. they know they know babes and they we know. are also like because i think a lot of people don't understand this too that people want us to like let's say hit another topic we will always take our guests feeling into consideration before the podcast if that makes sense like we're never gonna have someone on the podcast just try to get them without them knowing like, we're gonna gotcha. try to get them like gotcha Mm-mm. like you came in and we're gonna ask you something crazy like we're going to always keep people's feelings mindful. and like, hey, what do you not want to talk about? Because we're not trying to make you fucked up. Right. Exactly. Like, we're not going to do that. We're not We're not those kind of people. We're already just not like that in general, but we're not those kind of podcasters But either. Jacqueline gave. 
Baby, she ate. She ate. She, she ate. She did a great she job. She Bo answered just not the questions that needed crazy. to be answered. Mm-hmm. She ate. Our next topic is Tana versus Alyssa Voilet. Ooh. The the girls want a battle. Ooh. The, the girls, girls want a want battle. A battle. Okay, so this is the thing. So Alyssa Violet uh, did a basically a TikTok responding to Tana talking about Jason Nash. Because J- uh, uh, Tana did this video where she's like, at least I'm not Jason Nash. And honestly, <laughs> it was funny. I'm sorry. I giggled. I thought it was funny. The way Tana does it, though, it's not like she's like, she's not malicious. Jason Nash is a loser. No, literally. It's not like that. She just is making quirky little remarks, yes, if you and will. And they're shady. They're pretty, they're wrong. shady, but kind of light. lighthearted. They're light. It's they're like a bites. drag queen. Yes. It's yes. literally like Tana is a drag queen low key <laughs> in that way, where she can be shady but endearing at the same time. Yeah. Because that's like kind of what it comes across as. Mm-hmm. So Alyssa did like a full video that was like, what we're not going to do is basically shame Jason Nash for his job. Because Jason Nash is on TikTok Live every day. Now, if you guys don't know who Jason Nash is, he was in the vlog squad, but mm-hmm. he's also Trisha Paytas' infamous ex. Mm-hmm. Now, Tana and Trish are like really close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, a little so she's shade thrown Trish. to the- Yeah. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, that's as her girl. we would expect. Uh-huh. Now, so a little shade has been thrown because Jason Nash is kind of like out of the vlog squad. Yes, I do believe, and he's like isn't facilitating money through that anymore. So now he goes on TikTok Live and he like low key begs for money. It's a pandering. Is it okay? He's like pan- he's like pandering for like the buck doing battles, even though it's in a way it's like you're doing the battle, so it's not technically like it doesn't look like it's pandering, but in a way you are because mm. that's. When you're doing a battle, people are donating money to you to win the battle. So that's the oh. whole point of doing these battles, right? So um, we should do one together. <laughs> <laughs> we should. I don't even know what the fuck I it is. I don't either. I've, I don't either. I've never I don't heard even, of this. I've never done it, so I don't even know what it is. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, yeah. So listen, like, made the video about it, kind of being like, you shouldn't shame him. And so, but the thing is, that's become like almost like a bigger issue. Is that Alyssa in it? She's like, you do OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. She's like, so why are you like saying anything essentially about Jason? Like, oh, what you do, like, which is fine, but like you do that too for like, not everyone can make money off OnlyFans. So people have like kind of taken that to be like, mm-hmm. you just shaded Tana. You contradicted. You contradicted it. yourself in the middle of you trying to make this point about Tana and Jason and about like, you know, her shredding Jason. It's like, bitch. Yeah. You can't. Why did you bring up OnlyFans? You literally did the same thing. I think that it, if she didn't bring up the OnlyFans situation, I don't, I don't think it would have fallen as on deaf ears. It seems like Alyssa's get, catching the heat, too, She's for heat. coming for Tana, for throwing a little shade at Jason Nash, mm-hmm. which, honestly, nothing Tana said, I don't think warranted multiple TikToks made, because it for wasn't, sure. like, extreme bullying. Like, it was literally, like, a little shade like she was, tossed she was, over. Yeah, she was shading him. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, I wonder if, like, <laughs> maybe this is, <laughs> because we're, like, I feel like we're so enveloped in the LGBT community. Okay. I say we, like, because you watch Drag Race, like, you know about drag, you, you have a lot of gay friends. Like, I think we're more accustomed to like the shading and like the little, the lighthearted like yeah. jabs. Where it's like, yeah, Tana might be shading him, but she's not doing something so outlandishly crazy. And it's like, yeah, Tana obviously doesn't like him. She doesn't like the, the past he's had with Trisha. Doesn't like the past that she's had with him herself. Mm-hmm. She's always thought, I guess he was like more of a creeper guy, like the kissing situation, or whatever. Right. So it's like, She's just not. She doesn't like him, so she's gonna shade him. And and to us, it's like not a big deal that because big. it's it's shade, baby. It's, it's shade. shade. It's now shade. her sitting down on a podcast talking about Cody Co. and and that that's situation. Fierce. That's not that's, shade. That's intense. That is not shade. That mm-hmm. is something to make multiple TikToks about. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And like really this is go shady. in. And, what the Jason Nash thing is literal shade. It's just throwing some shade. So um, I think that Alyssa probably took it like oh, a little like too, far. too intensely, and then now it's become a situation because brooke's in baby brooke tapped in she said brooke tag t- me tag me Ooh. no that would be me and laura i'd be like laura, i was like laura tag me Ooh. tag me i want to be shady <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was, uh, i see like brooke reposted someone's video saying like oh Alyssa should have kept that in the draft like i'm sure they're gonna talk about it on cancel too mm-hmm. by the time like i don't know if it'll be up by the time this goes up but they're definitely gonna talk about it i'm absolutely sure but it's so crazy how like tana tends to find herself in these situations yep baby Tana will find Do herself in Do you feel like people come for Tana team. because they know that she's going to talk about them on the podcast and the podcast gets canceled, so gets so many views, so it kind of gives them a little a push. push. A little push. I do. A press push. I do, right? actually. Right, it makes sense. Yeah, like, because the thing is, why, why else why would, would you do it? Why would Alyssa Violet care? Out of nowhere. That, out of nowhere that Tana lightly shaded Jason Nash. Girl. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. 
is. Yeah, no. I, so the I, mask I, is kind of mm -mm. like, hmm, I wonder. She wanted the clout, Loki. In my push. opinion, allegedly, my conspiracy. I feel like she wanted the like the little like ooh, uh, 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 a little a little a little tannism. Uh, she wanted the, for it to be talked about. But the thing to, is, um, she had the wrong take. We need a shade Tana so she'll. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey Tana, so. Um, <laughs> That's like, I'm not even shading her. I'm just being stupid. No. But, um, yeah, I feel like that's what it is. It, it's, it, it's gone awry. It has. And I'm intrigued to see what Tana and Brooke talk about. Because then, of course, Brooke made a whole video about the Depop thing. About the Depop thing. She was like, hold on now. You, are you the same girl? You are getting caught up now. No, Brooke literally was like, oh, my receipts? Is that you? And it was so funny. So apparently, Brooke did a TikTok where she's talking to Cameron and she's like, Alyssa, basically, are you the one? She used to sell her clothes on Depop, mm -hmm. but in the description of the clothes, she would write down everything that happened in that outfit, like crazy stories. Uh -huh. So people would buy it, basically causing drama to get sales mm -hmm. on Depop. Mm -hmm. And she was about to talk about a situation, called out the girl by name, and oh, yeah, like, is this right. not you? So she's like, so like, Brooke is literally like, bitch, My if two plus two is, is four. I've learned this myself on the internet. Um, you can never be a warrior for righteousness if your plate is not clear. Oh, baby. You need to have a glass, glass clear. clear. The house needs to be glass for you to, you to know, throw come that kind for of shame. anybody. Like, you have to have a perfect Clean record. And even then, they're going to dig something up. Oh, baby. It's going to be found. Like, if me and you were to come for somebody for something, Lord They'd have mercy. They'd be like, oh, but like, aren't y'all? <laughs> 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 and like, mm -hmm. Yo, yo, yeah, yo. and I'm gonna still talk my shit. <laughs> and I'm gonna still talk. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's me. And what? And? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that is Manny. He did yeah. do all of that. <laughs> yeah, Manny's crazy. He did all he did of that. Yep. And I'm like, this. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna still, still talk my <laughs> shit. Uh huh. But yeah, that whole situation is crazy. I'm in, I'm intrigued to see what uh, is said about about our podcast. I love Brooke and Tana's podcast. I do too. I love them. It I love keeps the podcast. Me going. I just, I live for them. It does. Um, Tara Yummy. Oh my god, talk about podcasts. This just broke. Breaking news for us. Literally, like, Tara just announced that she's leaving Tara Dropouts. Yama. She's leaving. We have speculation. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, yeah, she, several. She, she made a YouTube video announcing she's leaving she's like, Dropouts, Dropouts podcast, mm -hmm. which. Do, do you feel like she got a lot of notoriety from that podcast? I think it definitely has helped her. Okay. Um, because she grew a lot, like, really rapidly while she was on the podcast still. So I wonder if, like, clips from the podcast has helped her i don't think that I definitely hurt her at all i think that definitely uh helped her grow 1000 percent the 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 clips from the podcast because dropouts also grew really rapidly mm -hmm. i mean they've always been a great podcast but they it's grown a lot um so i do think that that them being part of each other's thing has grown each other yeah in a way i couldn't agree more you know so she announces that she wants to uh, do not thing. do her own thing and not be on the podcast anymore. Mm -hmm. But she also gives you reasons. So she says that they do a lot of the hot topics and mm -hmm. she's gotten some flack for it. And like she doesn't. And you know what? I actually, whenever I was listening to her talk about the hot topics, I could relate because whenever we started Rapid Fire, mm -hmm. I was like, honestly, I don't want to give my opinion on right. a lot of the topics. Like I yeah. felt that. Like mm -hmm. I was like, because to me, it's like I don't want my opinion out there. Mm -hmm. But it was like part of me having a podcast. So I right. just sucked it up and did it. Um, but she was like, I don't always always have a like opinion or don't want it to be out there on the hot topics mm -hmm. but then she's she like threw in there then she's like maybe on my own one day oh. if, I, if i did my own podcast hold and i was on like now. hold on and i literally was like is she dropping so you're dropouts dropping dropouts to do own your podcast. own podcast got it got it tara got like I would listen to honey. I would listen, honey. And like honestly, live. if it's if it's time to like break away and totally like do your own thing, thing like I, I can get down with that. I also understand too, like the aspect. So like, this is the thing. So we, you know, I us both were kind of like, oh my god, like the hot topics, like talking about things, it's like it can get a little scary. But like at the end of the day, it's our podcast and we decide like what goes in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Tara, like she was like the guest on it, and like she doesn't have as much like let's say say when there's multiple people running the podcast. So I feel like it's a little bit harder to get like you're a point across and even if you didn't want something like it's a little bit harder to voice yeah where it's like totally. we've been able to just kind of be like okay if we want to talk about it, we can if we don't we don't like that doesn't matter yeah. you know so i feel like that she probably wants that own 
that thing. Like she wants to be able to, bitch, I want to control my own narrative about me when I'm being talked about. Because mm-hmm. a lot of those clips have gone viral in a bad way for Tara too. Oh. Yeah, like she's been caught up in like podcasts and like the clips. So she's like, let me just like, bitch, make it I'm make tired. more sense mm-hmm. and do it on my own. I totally, I bet Zach's devastated. I bet he is. I bet he is. Devastated. I bet he is. But also like Zach's been getting like hella Canceled tore up, as chewed as up well. from like old situations from him. So I think that like, it could be a combination of multiple things. Like she could be like, I'm trying to take a step back. I'm trying to do it my own thing. But also like, Zach, I need to take a step back from you as well. Like mm-hmm. you never really know mm-hmm. when it comes to situations like that. But um, I love Tara. Me too. And I am excited to see what her next thing is. I'm sure. And if sure. it's a podcast, we will Tuning be in. listening. We will be tuning in. Tara, we would you like to come on? Would you like to come on full coverage or? Call it. Thank you to One Skin for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Do you know why I love One Skin so much? Why? Because all their products are created by skin longevity scientists and backed labs and clinical studies, so you know they work. One Skin was named to Fast Company's list of the world's most innovative companies of 2024, a roster that includes the top companies making a positive impact on the world. Basically, just treating the symptoms rather than the root causes of aging has been the norm. Most skincare available on the market is designed to provide a temporary reduction in addressing just the surface symptoms of underlying decline in skin health. Yes, I love their sunscreen. They also have a yes. body moisturizer that's so bomb. But their mm-hmm. sunscreen is next level. You guys have to try it out. And you should be wearing sunscreen every day, by the way. So good. One Skin is more than just skin care. It's about skin longevity, targeting the root causes of aging to help you look and feel your very best at every age. Get started today with 15% off by using code FULL at oneskin.co. That's 15% off at oneskin.co with code FULL. After you purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. It's time to expect more from your skincare routine. Invest in the health of your skin with One Skin. Thank you so much to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, ZocDoc makes it easy to fill in those blanks to help you find the right doctor for your specific needs because ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors. Choose the right one for your needs and click to instantly book an appointment. If you guys need a doctor for just about anything, you guys should download ZocDoc because we have found so many doctors Mm -hmm. in Los Angeles that we can actually get a quick appointment with. We're talking in-network appointments with more than 100,000 healthcare providers across every specialty from mental health, dental care, eye care, skin care, and so much more. Plus, ZocDoc appointments happen fast, typically within just 24 to 72 hours of booking. You can even score same-day appointments. I love it. I literally just use it for my styries that I was in a journey on, and I had to find a eye doctor, and I was like, oh my god, ZocDoc is literally perfect, so I just used it literally two weeks ago, and it's amazing. So stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash full, and to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today, that's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash full. ZocDoc.com slash full. Our next topic is there's this streamer. His name is Sketch. Apparently, oh. he's very famous. Dude, he's like huge. I'm not a streamer girly. So, like, I don't, I don't know, know that world. Twitch. I could walk past this man on the street and I would not know who he is. Wouldn't know a thing. Wouldn't know I'm a thing. I'm sorry to that man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry Wouldn't to that man. That. I'm sorry to that man. Um, so yeah, so Sketch is like a huge streamer. So the streamer world is like its own, I feel like its own beast. And like it's that's like its own so thing. much bigger than like Instagram or YouTube. Dude. And like, I don't know a thing about it. Because the thing is, I think that because streamers, like people that watch streamers, like they pay like, like it's like $5 a month or whatever it might oh, be to like wow. watch their streams. And so I think there's more of a, a really close knit like kinship there. Cause it's like, bitch, I'm paying for this shit too. Yeah. Like I'm going to be dedicated to my bitch. Right. So I think that that plays into it a little bit as well. But a situation did just happen where Sketch, a, a huge, huge streamer, uh, recently, it's just like he was found out to have done corn mm. on on OF mm. um, a few years ago, and it's now what been kind of brought corn into was light. It? Man on man corn. Uh, ooh. So I, also, like when you have a very straight het audience, mm-hmm. I think that you know it becomes a very intense thing because yeah. he has now he's he like apologized for it. He came out and was like, "I'm so sorry." Like that I did that in the past, like I fucked up or whatever. And I was like, part of me feels when I'm watching this, I'm like, this is so sad that he even has to feel like he has to apologize 
for doing something that he needed to do in the past to like for whatever reason to make ends meet whatever it might be for him to come out and apologize like it's just it makes me sad because it's like dude he just had to do what he had to do and he was saying that that is how he made money before streaming mm-hmm. and that he also said he always knew like, like obviously scared, he scared. took it down but yeah I was always scared because he was like I always knew eventually it was gonna come out that I did man on man OF uh huh um, especially the more popular he got because he became so popular right on, on stream so mm-hmm. it was like only a matter of time it leaked Ooh. and he immediately was at a friend's house you said face face who's another big streamer Mm -hmm. a huge streamer was at his house he saw it get leaked then apparently like it shows like a video where he's like leaving the house and they're texting and basically he's like where did you go like are you okay and he's like honestly i just like need someone to talk to like i'm not well basically like there's a conversation and um i just don't feel right about it like like, this sucks right so then he sketch ends up making a video and he's like you know at this like i almost like took my own life like in this situation like if it wasn't for phase and my parents like i just like wouldn't be here today and to have people in my corner like this uh it means the world to me because i just like wouldn't be here because i knew yeah. that this was gonna happen the, the bigger i got the more scared i got when it came to like my old life essentially and what's cool about the situation i will say is that there's so many streamers that have come forward emotionally to be like i Fuck with you, Sketch. I love you. Aww. I'm so, um, like, you're my friend yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Like, That's it doesn't so matter awesome. uh, what you did before. Like, you're my friend. Um, and it's been really lovely to see the community the community that he has back him. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's really, really special and really awesome. Uh, but it is part of me does feel sad for him to have to even feel like he needs to apologize for doing things that he had to do. Yeah. You know? It's like, like really his sucks. life. If he wants to do that, then, then it's like not it. technically anything crazy that no. he, or like technically Especially in this wrong. Day and age? Yeah, that he's doing, but it's because he has a straight male audience. They're going to be like, And when you bro, have the hetero... Bro, bro that, what bro, the fuck? They can't handle anything, With that gay honey. shit? Yeah, they it's can't like, handle anything, girl. They can't. They, like, they literally can't. a drop of water, and they're like, bro, what the fuck? We run a dog? Yeah, and they're also the most fierce in the comments and nasty. In a bad way. In a bad way. Trust me, I nasty. know. Nasty. As a queer nasty. myself, I know all too well oh, about those yes. kind of comments. Like We've seen firsthand the behavior. Seen firsthand. It's really, really intense. And there's a lot... Of, it's really sad. There's a lot of um, anti-LGBT rhetoric that goes on and even so in 2024 it's like it's really 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 bad still and you don't you almost forget like i forget all the time because i'm so blessed to live in la and like i just have a different world but it's not like that everywhere Mm, most places actually it's actually horrible in most places most places it's horrible yeah yeah that's why that's why there's pride so yeah he put out an apology video basically saying sorry they did it which is crazy alone but i mean but he has to he's... do what he has to do okay. to be able to stream mm-hmm. yeah and i'm glad that he's okay like i'm glad that he's that the community has like stood behind him and that he's okay and that he's still with us and even though i don't really know who he is just like watching the videos it really broke my heart yeah um so i'm really glad that he's that he's okay well our next topic is hawk to a girl hawk to hawk to us put on the thing um, so the girl was like interviewed on the street and she was talking about, I can't even say it cause we went flagged on YouTube. Right. We're basically, it's just hawk to us, spit on that thing. Imagine what that could mean. Yeah. And then go from there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's become like this extremely, extremely She's viral meme. She's become a meme, spectacle. A spectacle, a sensation even. <sighs> um, I don't get it. I don't get it either. <laughs> I don't get it. Ty was like, it's not meant to be funny. It's just crazy that like a girl just walked up and said that. And I can get that. Like that's sure. kind of ludicrous that just like a little girl walked up and like that was her response. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that was her response that, to and, the And like that question. caused it to blow up. The way it blew up. She's in like a documentary, podcast. Bro, I ain't never seen anything like, like it. Like more fame than J-Lo right now for doing that. And Literally. I'm like, that is crazy to me that is crazy i also just don't get it's just so funny because i've been seeing videos about it and people are like you think that hawk to a spin on that thing is gonna have you make it in la and i go oh mm. i really even think about that mm-hmm. like it's the truth like i think that people have a viral moment and they think that that's gonna carry them out so to virality true. and fame and go to los angeles and you live this what? la life and that's honestly not the case at all and it's like mm-hmm. actually really freaking hard mm-hmm. To stay out here and keep doing it for that long. I don't know if you remember. It was like around 2020. This guy had like a cuff and he was like dancing. You probably don't remember on TikTok. I I don't think I do. Anyways, he went super, super, super viral. And you think it's like rich in fame. But the tricky thing is with these like viral bite moments where it just blows up bigger than anything. It also goes away faster than anything. I know. It really does. The thing is like you have to. It's hard to keep that momentum going when you become a meme. You have to be actually really, really smart 
And I think you have to be like really, really funny. For example, Brittany Broski. Oh, yeah. The meme, the like, mm, uh -huh. oh, mm. oh. the thing is like Brittany is so smart. You can't be funny and not be smart. Yeah. That's the truth. It's Brittany true. Broski is a really, really, she's you know, a genius. I always say that about being evil. I was like, yeah. evil people are never stupid. Never. I was like, you can be evil. And actually, most evil people are really smart because so you have to be smart to do really, you know, shitty methodical, things. shitty, evil things. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, same thing with funny people. They're really smart. Like, they they're know, smart. They, they know, know exactly what they're doing. You know the, what you got to do. The funniest people are actually ones that will strike you the hardest <laughs> because they're so smart and they know exactly what to say to, like, actually really hurt you. Yeah. If you really like, think about it. But um, she was smart and she kept the momentum going. And because she was clever and she has a clever mind, she was able to do that. Mm -hmm. But that's not always the case case for these viral moments is actually seldomly the case yeah she's definitely more of an outlier when it comes yeah. to that but you have to be like literally like at a 10 at all times it's like yeah you may have fame for six months to a year but after one year of your life like can you take this to 20 years right. off of hot tua i don't know i don't know i don't know either and i'm, I'm curious to see what happens and what transpires but right. i don't think it's going to be able to last as long but honestly like more power to her the fact honestly. that you became a meme like good for her honestly mm -hmm. and i want it to be successful for her but it's crazy how people do think that like one meme could lead to like the rest of their life a being lifetime successful. of fame and, and it's not so the case. not true like you have to do so we much watch it work time after time and time again we, i mean we've seen it we've yeah, been doing we've it for seen so it. long so it's like you really have to be just like constantly if that's like what you want it to be the dream like you need to really like ride that dream out and then like make it happen for yourself uh yep you know so you know, know. uh good luck good luck good luck diva um, our last topic is Gypsy Rose just announced that she's pregnant. I saw that. Girl, she just be nonchalant. I thought she literally was like with that guy for like not I, that long. Girl, I have no idea what's going on there. What? Also what is her going on? girl, also her other ex had just spoken out too. I didn't what did listen to anything didn't hear. he had to say. We can't comment but on that. I, I don't know. did see that he's <laughs> Me too. I've heard that he did, but I didn't hear what he had to say. Right, said. right. So right. I can't even comment on it here because I don't even know what was said. But like the fact that she just announced that she's pregnant, she's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, yeah. this is like happening. And I was yeah. like, bro, 11 weeks pregnant? Literally just like filming a video. Like, like out of nowhere. Yeah, she's like, oh my God, nowhere. I'm so excited. She's like, I'm 11 weeks pregnant. She, I can't believe, I, I, she, didn't she say something? She was like, oh my God, I can't believe, wait to be like a mom like that I didn't have. It's like, kind of cool, yeah, for her to get like a second chance yeah, in a way of a motherhood like in a way. redoing motherhood and like what she experienced from it was so horrible. Yes. So it's really cool for her to get this moment though. I'm, I'm so happy for her. Like that's amazing. It is shocking to me it is. that she's become like this almost like household name. I like, know. Like almost this like famous person based off of like you know a crime a crime when you think about it it is actually kind of shocking mm -hmm. um but i'm like you know what honestly she's taken the d cards that have been dealt to her and she's ran with them that is one person you gotta give her the, fucking... the viral moment into a much longer run i mean she she truly did like truly she, she took a horrible situation that happened to her when she was younger and she's turned it into like you know what it is now yeah and that in itself is a feat mind you of course there's been documentaries there's been like Movies shows there's been so TV much stuff shows. to help like multiple tv shows her. yeah but it's like the situation in itself is quite crazy it is crazy like girl mm -mm. i really hope that this like the motherhood is gonna it's be like good a, for her yeah me too me too and that she will be you know the best mother ever and i'm sure i'm sure she, she has like redo a, what happened to her like in a way to her child like in the best possible way like be the She's mother seen. that she wish she had. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like she knows what not to do. Oh, God. Baby, she knows exactly what not to fucking do. I watched do. the TV shows and the documentaries, yep. and it is, honestly, it's jarring, and it's, like, all the details and, like, who the mom was and, like, all the things she did even before mm. she munched Halston's Gypsy mm -hmm. Rose. Like, she was always a crook, always yeah. stealing, like, always rotten. Just rotten. And it's just really, it's really crazy story, like, no other, to it put Gypsy in a situation where it seemed like that was kind of her only Using choice. Using her daughter as a scam. Dude, it, it's, it's her daughter's happened. life. Mm -hmm. And she used her daughter as a scam. It was insane. It was her ultimate scam, actually. Yeah, yeah her ultimate her scam. Her ultimate scam was Gypsy. That bit her in the ass in the end. Bro. I know. That shit's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. So. It, it was, I mean, it's just a horrible situation. Yeah. Um, but I wish Gypsy the best, honestly, because yeah, that's crazy. I know. And I hope that I her know. motherhood is the best it can be. The best experience. For her. And that's all of our hot topics. That's it for today's epi. 
It was honestly, I actually did like. I, at first, I was kind of like, "Oh my god, this is so weird filming in here." It is. But I, I, I like enjoyed it. Like it, it a ended change up being nice. Of pace. It was a change of pace. I enjoyed like the vibes. Y'all, I'm so excited for the new podcast space. Dude, it's I gonna be so good. So don't uh, forget, you're gonna miss us next week. Mm -hmm. No full coverage, and yep. then we'll be back. But we should be back in our new podcast space. If the room's not ready, we'll be back in the kitchen. Yeah. 100%. Just so, in, I mean, just in case. Like just if, in case. If we have to, we'll be back we here. We may be back in the kitchen. But you never know. <laughs> it depends on how long it takes. We don't know. Exactly. We don't know, but it could, it could be this again. But thank you guys for being here and watching. We love you so much. Full fam always. Always unite. Yep. We'll see you guys in our next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.